Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. My name is Anil, uh, and I'm going to be your nursing nurse today. Um, and I'm going to be doing your neurologic examination. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay, may I get your first name and date of birth, please? Gibran Ortiz, February 24th, 1990. Okay, and how would you like me to address you? Gibran is fine. Gibran is fine. Okay, Mr. Gibran, so uh, we're going to get started. After uh, hand hygiene and introducing myself to the patient, I was observing him. Uh, and get taking in uh, all his general appearance and I also was able to get his vital signs so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be testing your cranial nerves and we're gonna start with cranial nerve number one okay so what I'm gonna need you is just to pretty much press one of your nostrils for me and just breathe and can you do the opposite with, with the other nostril okay so what I'm gonna be doing right now is I'm gonna be giving you two different um, scents and when, what you're going to be doing is closing one of your nostrils and breathing. And you're going to let me know what you think the scent is. And you're going to repeat with your other nostril as well, okay? Mm -hmm. So we're going to be starting with this one. So I'm going to need you to close. Vanilla. Vanilla, okay. And can we do the same thing with the other one? Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're going, to, we're going to be doing the same with uh, different uh, scents. You can just close one. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Okay. Cinnamon. Thank you. Okay, so now we're going to be testing your cranial nerve number two, which is the optic nerve. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be giving you the gross film chart. Mm -hmm. And you're going to hold it 14 uh, inches from you. And I need you to start uh, from the line that you can see. If you can just start telling me the the numbers but you're gonna have to be closing uh pretty much cover one eye and then do the opposite okay. with the other one six three nine two five with your other eye please six three nine two okay so now we're gonna be doing the visual field screening by confrontation so i'm gonna need you to look at my eyes and what i'm gonna be doing is i'm gonna be putting my hands behind you and i'm gonna be wiggling and i need you to let me know uh, once you are able to see my hand, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's get started. Just look at my eyes. And I'm going to be doing... Mm -hmm. Let me know when you see my hand, okay? I see it. Okay. I see it. Okay. I see it. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now I'm going to be inspecting the optic fundi. I do not have the ophthalmoscope with me. But pretty much what is what is going to be done is I would be inspecting uh, the patient's eyes. And what I would be doing is I would, if I'm inspecting his left eye, I would be doing it with my left eye. The ophthalmoscope would be on my left eye. And I would just make sure that I do it. Uh, I would stand like uh, on a 15 degree angle. And I would be doing the opposite as well with the, his right eye. I would be doing my um, right eye with the ophthalmoscope. And... Uh, checking his optic fundi. So, next I'm going to be doing cranial nerve number two and uh, cranial nerve number three, and I'm just going to be looking for um, ocular motors. Uh, I'm going to be looking for the size, the shape of the pupil, and I'm going to be looking for any reaction to light. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to get Mr. Kieran. You can just look at me into my eyes. What you're looking is pretty much looking for um, the pupil, the size, their reaction to light. Okay, Mr. Gibbons, so now I'm going to be doing the near reaction. And I'm going to be holding the pen light 10 centimeters from your uh, eyes. And I'm going to ask you to look at it alternately. I'm going to need you to look at it into distance directly behind it. Now I'm going to be testing cranial nerve number three, cranial nerve number four, and cranial nerve number five. Uh, cranial nerve number three, it's the ocular motor. Cranial nerve number four is the trochlear, and cranial nerve number five is the obtusus. And I'm going to be making H in the air, and I'm going to need you to follow um, where my where my pen light's going as I'm doing that in the as in the air. Okay, mm -hmm. so let's get started. Okay. 
Thank you. Okay, Mr. Cameron, so now I'm going to be testing convergence and I'm going to have my pen line and I'm just going to ask you to please follow as I move my pen line towards your nose, okay? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm going to be testing the training nerve number five, which is the trigeminal, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be testing the motor. Uh, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be placing my hand on the temporal muscle and moving to the masseter muscle and I'm going to ask the patient, Mr. Cameron, can you please clench your teeth for me, please? And what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be accessing for the strength of the contraction. Thank you. Okay, Mr. Gibbons, so next I'm going to be testing uh, the sensory part of cranial nerve number five. And I'm just going to ask you to please close your eyes. And as a patient has his eyes closed, I'm going to be um, touching different areas of his face with this cotton. And I'm just going to be asking him to let me know if he feels the sensation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay, thank you. So, Gibran, so next I'm going to be testing for corneal reflex, and uh, if you can just look up in the way. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be with the fine cotton whisk, so I'm just going to be touching the cornea. Okay, thank you. And so now we're going to be testing for cranial nerve number seven. And what I'm going to be asked, um, as I'm doing this, I was talk and talking to the patient. I was observing his face at rest and when we were having a conversation. And I'm going to ask you, Mr. Gibran, if you can just please raise your eyebrows for me, please. Okay, can you frown for me, please? Okay, can you smile? Can you show your teeth? Can you close your eyes for me? Can you pop your cheeks for me, please? Okay, and uh, now I'm going to ask you to please close your eyes, and as you're closing your eyes, I'm going to try to open them. Okay, thank you. So next we're going to be doing cranial nerve number eight, and that's the uh, vestibular cochlear. And what I'm going to be doing, it's I'm going to be accessing for hearing. I'm going to be whispering, and as I'm whispering, I'm going to ask the patient to repeat the words that I'm saying. Next, I'm going to be doing the cranial nerve number nine, which is the glossal flaring here, and cranial, cranial nerve number 10, which is the bagel, voice quality, and soft palate movement. And I'm going to be accessing the patient's voice. So, as we're having a conversation, and then I'm going to ask Mr. Givern if he can please open his mouth and say ah. Ah. Uh, and as he's doing that, can you just keep doing that for me, please? As he's uh, saying that, I'm just going to be looking at his soft palate and pharynx. Okay, thank you. Next, I'm going to be testing for the gap reflex, and I'm going to be, I'm going to warn Mr. Giveran that I'm going to be touching with this tongue blade uh, on the back of his throat, and uh, it's always good to let them know because some people are more sensitive to their gag reflex. Can you open your mouth for me, please? I'm going to be touching the back of your throat, okay? Thank you. Now, Mr. Giveran, we're going to be testing for cranial nerve number 11, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be placing my hands on your shoulders, and I'm going to ask you to please uh, shrug for me, please. Okay, thank you. And next, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be placing uh, one on my hands on your cheek, and I'm just going to ask you to turn your head towards my hand as if in place as I place light resistance, and I'm going to be doing the same thing on the other side. Next, I'm going to be testing for the cranial nerve number 12, which is the fipo fipoglossal, and I'm going to be checking for fasciculation, symmetry, deviation, movement, and strength of the tongue. So I'm going to ask the patient to speak it's, I'm going to be listening as he speaks, so can you just say, yes, I can? Yes, I can. I'm going to inspect the tongue and mouth. Oh, okay. Can you move your tongue to the left and right for me, please? Side to side. Thank you. And uh, in ambiguous situations, I would ask the patient to push his tongue on the cheek, against the inside of the cheek, and I would palpate externally, and I would be doing this on the other side as well. Thank you.